Things were off to a normal start my second day as a CNT news intern. When I took out my camera, I spotted a well-known figure in the county, Boat Boy, otherwise known as Chuck Livingston. I had to get closer. Weasel News was rolling up, and they cannot get a better shot of this than me. Larry would have my you-know-what. Things got interesting from here. Yeah, Second man. You camera. wouldn't happen to have a, have a set of handcuff keys, would you? No, man, but, like, you know, I don't think Sir, you're supposed you to be, like, over here. You gotta just give it in. You, you don't have some handcuff keys, do you? Yeah, I have that guy over there. Excuse me? Uh, this guy's over here, like, asking us for handcuff keys, and like, you guys are, like, letting him walk away. I'm pretty sure he's just, like, a part of a pursuit or something. Oh, uh, thanks for letting us know. Well, yeah, here. I don't really like that guy, so of course I'd let you know. Yeah, I don't know what happened to Chuck. They hit your car, Chuck? Did they hit his car? What what happened, Chuck? Oh, uh, you want to know? Clay Bailey with CNT yeah, News, man. Yeah, Weasel News, Danny Davidson. Uh, did you know that you get the, the free nozzle on every fill up of gas? Oh, what was that right? All right, yep. free nozzle. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people yeah, don't know. Every time you fill up a whole tank of gas, you get the nozzle for free. You get to keep it. Where you at, Diaz? A lot of people put it back. And that's in this state? No, oh, oh that's everywhere. No, I was making sure they, we got both suspects and we didn't. All right, I don't know if I've heard this before. So, like, what happened with that guy, man? Like, did he hit your car or something? Well, no, whoever drove a disc will hit my car. Hit black car. Oh, the police officer hit you. This is a police assault. Uh, well, I, mean, I don't know. I just, I just got all the dents out of my car. And now they've they've come and they've hit your car, man. Uh, so, are you gonna like press charges or something, man? Well, I, I, who I need to know who's driving this. Well, that's a, that's a question for this officer. Officer, do you know who's like driving that car? Uh, I have the slightest clue. I was just uh, that one. Pickup. This one right here. Wasn't is that me. True? I would is never that, do that. Is that, to Chuck. is that Gary Berry's? I don't know who called this. It might be Larry Berry's son, Gary Berry. What law did I break? I don't have the don't, it don't have the badge yeah, that's on. Yeah, yeah, it yeah must Chuck. Be a new guy. Chuck, have do you know Larry Berry? You know Larry Berry, right? I, yeah. I, yeah, I his son Gary Berry. Right no he uh, he's an officer now. Go ahead. Is he one of these over here? Yeah, he's one of them. He's the one that has the guy. He's holding them right now. Okay. I'll be right Larry owes me some money. Oh, is that right? How much, how much money? Yeah. Larry owes me a lot of money. Well, this is Larry's intern right here. He could probably pay you. Yeah, Larry owes me a lot of money. He made all that money, at, you know, for that story he did all me. And he got the award and a Ferrari. I didn't get nothing. Oh, do you feel wronged by that, man? Yeah, he did a story all me and he got all this stuff. I didn't get nothing. Yeah, he got an award for that you didn't get an award I what get anything for it. if you could get anything from that what would you want would it be money? Money? A couple billion. hey Chuck right. I'll report that to Larry I'll let him know mr. Livingston everyone's yeah, dying to know what everyone's dying to know if you're still planning to run in the campaign well yeah of course you sure man because you're being pretty absent of all of the uh, campaign runs <clears throat> Well, I mean, yeah, but I mean, everybody's still bo bo. Also, his hands are really big compared to Bill Macklin's. I do have mm -hmm. big hands. Wow. Do you, Do you think everyone's gonna come out and vote for boat? Absolutely. Wow, look yeah, at those, those hands. You'll send me a uh, county transport. I think everybody should vote boat if they want a better state or whatever. Yeah, county transport. Well, what kind of things do you plan to do to help our state, Mr. Livingston? Uh, less police. Less police. Okay. More yeah, but well, less police, you wouldn't get your car hit. Well, yeah, exactly. Look how many cops over here for what? Uh, for hey, a two, uh, two of them just stand out here. Well, we're talking to you. Well, yeah, but we didn't do that. Yeah, but that what does think driving we're, this one hit my car. Yeah, well, I gave you the insurance details for that. We're got your one. Oh, we got your one. Nine three. 145 air one, 145 catacombs, we are in the air. 
So they hid your car and they up and disappear from the scene. Hmm. Yeah, that, that hit a rock. Well, Something no, he was arresting one. He went after to arrest one of the suspects in the 19 zero. Seems a little suspicious to me, man. That's a furry police car. <laughs> oh, that's not a free police car. Oh, furry. In fact, here comes the county that pick it up. I wonder if they know about the gas deal. Yo, the oh, gas nozzle not. thing? Nobody yeah, that's yeah. Nobody knows about it. Chuck is doing the uh, the Lord's work out here and spreading that vast knowledge to everybody. Yeah, go get yourself a gas nozzle. What else can you do with a gas nozzle? All kinds Probably, of stuff, really. Know. Whatever you want with it. Oh. oh. Uh oh. If well, oh, God. duty calls. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. I guess we're going to go to the next. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for the advice about the gas nozzle. I'll tell Larry about the money. Take care now. That was certainly weird. Why does he think Larry and CNT owe him money? I decided to stop at Sandy and investigate what the nozzle thing was all about. Then I need to find Chuck to get some more information. There he is. I'm going to follow him and then try to have another conversation. My plan is to act like I understand and appreciate his ideas. If I've learned anything in my few days as an intern, is that people usually give you more information if they think you're on their side. Time to see if I'm a good actor. Hey man, oh, no, no. I am I doing it right? Like, look. Yeah. Yeah, you got it right. So then, no, like, what? Like, when I come in, like, get more gas, do I just like hook it back up or to that one, or like, do yeah, I take that one out and I take a new one? I mean, if you want to use yours, you can. Or you know, if you you want to get another one, you can. So like, you're helping the environment. Uh, I mean, yeah, pretty much. Zero five zero. Wow. See, this is why. I'm gonna vote boat. Yeah, exactly. I get everybody a, a pump nozzle. Yeah, that would that would be great. That'd really end like the pump nozzle shortage and all. Exactly, because yeah, you know you had no be before. Be now you got what? Wow, this is amazing. Pictures all fine. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate hey, that. You, know, you get to keep the nozzle, right? What, what, what's that? You get to keep the, the nozzle. Yeah, you get to keep the nozzle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get a free, when you get a full tank of gas, you get to keep the nozzle in the car. Uh, is that like some promotion they're running? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah it's your nozzle. A lot of people uh, don't know that. Yeah, it's really uh, efficient. How do you how do you take it then? It's how do you disconnect? Can't even Just drive away. Yeah, the auto did for that. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, thanks for the tip, fella. No problem. Hey, you get to keep that auto, by the way. Kenny has RB. Yeah, that's the old. Sweet. Yeah, every time we get a free tag of gas, you get the you get the auto for free. A lot of people don't know that. Is the gas free? You said? No, 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 not the gas. It's just the nozzle. Well, you just you just drop away, and it, it it's got a quick disconnect on it. Sweet. Think I could sell it? Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, I I don't know. Somebody might buy it. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, and if yeah, you no if you sell it, he said like you can get a new one for free. Like when you come back, you just take the new one, and then you take that one, and you can sell that one, and then get like another new one. Yeah. yeah so there's no amount. Back, you, to do what all. you can have as many as you want. Yeah, I mean, as long as you you know pay for the gas. Lucky. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna Thank write you, a, sir. Write a great story day. on this, man. Yeah, go for it. Glad that I got help. I'm gonna take it. 
All right, you guys have a go. Wolf. Yeah, you take care, man. This just left me with even more questions. Why does Chuck want everyone to take the gas pump nozzles? Is he trying to help? Everyone says he's trouble, but all I'm seeing so far is a good guy who feels he's a hoot. Hopefully Larry comes off that vacation soon. I have so many questions to ask him about this stuff. Until then, I'm going to keep an eye out on Chuck Livingston and maybe try to get some more information out of him about the money he thinks he's owed. Right now though, I need a drink. Wait, that SUV looks familiar. Chuck, uh, I need to talk to you for a minute if you have a second. Yeah. He's kidnapping you, but you gotta go with him. You wanna, you wanna step inside or... You wanna step inside or talk out here? Oh, I don't matter to hear you out here. Okay, so uh, I'm doing a report now, you know, since we talked earlier on on Larry Berry and the situation oh, you I'm feel scared. that. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy, go ahead back over there. Anyway, uh, you feeling that you need, you know, you need to be paid for, for your part in that. Yeah, I know. So are you aware about me? I made a bunch of money. I didn't get done. Are you aware that uh, his son is now a deputy, Gary Berry? Yeah, somebody told me that earlier. Yeah, well, I spoke to Gary about it, and uh, and you know he's upset because he says he doesn't know you a thing. You know, you pushed his pops off a bridge, is what he said. Oh my God! Well, I mean, uh, yeah, I want to. Do you still feel, you know, that wasn't justice enough, like he should be paid? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, he got a bunch of money for him. Like, he wanted me to throw him off the bridge so he could make money. And accidents happen all the time. Yeah, he's left. So how much money do you feel you're owed, Chuck? I, don't, I mean, at least a million dollars. At least a at million least. dollars. At and least, yeah, it could be more. The, 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 the suffering you had to deal watching him slip was traumatic. Yeah. And he slammed up my name all over the place. What kind of things did he say about you? Well, it's all in his reports. Okay. If you watch his special, he said all those things about me. So, are you still, uh, are you still actively seeing Rosemary? No, I haven't seen her for a long time. Is it? I believe she's running against you right now, right? Oh, well, uh, no, she, I told her I was going to run for governor, and then she said she wanted to run for it. Okay, so so that probably put a strife in your relationship, huh? Uh, I mean, kind of, yeah. Well, you have my vote. And then, Chuck, what's this I hear about Strawberry Rails? What's your way? They're amazing. Well, it seems you really, you know, you really like them a lot. The stores around town are always out. How many yeah. strawberry rails are you consuming? What, like in a day? Yeah, like let's say one day. How many, how many boxes? Uh, like 50, 50, 60 boxes. Wow, 50, 60 boxes. Is that how you keep such a, such a great figure? Yeah, it's all strawberry rail. Interesting. Well, I appreciate your time, Chuck. You know, I, if you have anything else you want to add, feel free. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to know a little bit more. You mentioned that uh, Larry Berry owes you some money, you know, so always trying to be fair, see both sides. Yeah, yeah, he just, I just want the money, that's all. Would you be open to having, you know, a discussion with Larry? Yeah, absolutely, if I can find him. And for compensation. Hmm. 
Alrighty, I'll relay the message, Chuck. And you know, if, like I said, uh, if you ever, you ever want to add anything to that, you just let me know. All right? Okay, yeah, I'll let you know. All right. Appreciate your time. Yeah. You, Name. You, uh, go ahead. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. By the way, name's Clay Bailey, man. CNT News. Okay, yeah, Chuck Levis here. Great to meet you. Uh, Jimmy Carroll. You. Yeah, that's Jimmy Carroll. I'm sure you've met him. Yeah. All right, then. Take care. Get out of this rain. You too. Take care. 50 to 60 boxes of strawberry rails? That can't be healthy. What the heck is in those things? Now I've got even more questions for Larry. Wait a second. Is that him? And with Boat Boy? I mean, I, you know, I don't know what to tell you there, bud. I mean, this is all CNT just giving me money. Oh, no. Uh, maybe, maybe they could give me a little bit of money. I mean, come on, Chuck. They're not really going to do that. You know better than that. Well, then maybe you give me a little bit of that money. Hey, yeah, uh, Clay. Clay, don't write any of this stuff down. This is just a private conversation, but. Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been following this story all night, though, uh, Larry. You know, this guy's been saying that okay, you owe well, money. This, is, this isn't a story, bud. Yeah, go find a pursuit to, is a to follow. No, no, because no, no. You no. wrote that story about me, and, uh, you know, you got a big paycheck and a, and a, a Ford, a Ferrari, and I got, I got nothing. I mean, Chuck, you threw me off a bridge here. Come on, I mean, aren't we even here? Besides. I, I don't know if I threw you. I think you slipped. I, I mean, no, come on, Chuck. We know better than that. Besides, aren't you a millionaire with all this strawberry rails and stuff you got going on? No, I lost. Oh, I had some money and I lost it all. Well, I mean, I can't help you out there, you know. I mean, you but made I some bad no Well, I mean, CT's not going to pay you. I mean, that's not how the news works, you know, this Chuck. Well, I mean, that, that don't seem fair. Well, I, I, I don't know what to tell you there, but I mean, a lot of my money went to hospital bills thanks to you, so uh, I guess we're even here. Well, who, who, who owns CNT? I, I don't know. They got a big board of investors and everything like that. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody. Uh, you don't know that CEO? No, I mean, I probably could uh, ask around, but no, I mean, I'm just a lowly little reporter. Well, if you find the name of that person, yo, you, you, you want to give me a call, give, give me that info? I mean, sure, I can direct you up there. You can talk yeah, to somebody. Yeah, I just want to talk to them and say, hey, just ask him why. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And sure, I'll try to find out who the CEO is. Okay, well, I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, Chuck. Yeah. Sorry yeah. you lost all your money, but, uh... Yeah. No, it's all right. That's that's just, that's a really nice code. All right, well, thank you, thank you. I like that. All righty. Well, thank you. Yeah, All right, you too, Chuck. I'll be seeing you around. All righty. Yeah, I was just real worried about it, man. Uh, hold on, I need a cup of coffee. Come inside. Yep. Want the strawberry burger? I lost you for a minute, man. No, 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 you're good. Just look at pizzas. We can get additionals to 1036, Joshua. Okay, look, Chuck Livingston is a dangerous guy, and if he is broken, he's wanting money, and then uh, he's a really dangerous guy. You understand? Yeah, I hear you. I mean, the guy threw me off a freaking bridge, for God's sakes, and now he's wanting us to pay him out just because I got a little bit of extra money because we got good ratings. He's been saying it to me all night, man. He's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's a loose cannon, dude. He, he will do a whole bunch of wicked, weird stuff. Didn't so, he, uh, like, steal a money truck so he has money? Hey, I, I, uh, but this is an A B conversation, bro. Hey, Clay, come on with me. Boy, I'm just saying. Always listening. Years. You gotta keep that in mind. Let's get some coffee and go somewhere. Alright, uh, I'll pay for this cup of coffee here. Alright, thank you, partner.
You want to take hey, your I'll tell car? You what. Or take no, 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 no. Take your car. Meet me over at. Uh, meet me over at the Yellow Jack. All right. Sounds good. I'll see you there. All right. Have a seat there, Clay. All right, so a little while back, probably about three or four months ago, I was uh, just chasing the news. We were chasing a pursuit, right? Right. And uh, the pursuit kind of was uh, all jammed up around 2025 uh, O'Neill Way. That uh, old farmhouse out there in Grapeseed. Yep, yep, I know the place. So, uh, anyway, I was out there. There was another Weasel News guy out there. We were arguing, and I turned around because basically this guy was just stealing every car in sight, right? Well, I turned around. And uh, all of a sudden, I see him jump out of an ambulance, jump into my beloved Margaret, my Impala, and take off. Oh, my gosh. And just, he just destroyed it during that pursuit. That's awful. You just got Margaret back recently, right? Is that the first yeah, time? Yeah, but since... this, was, this was the original Margaret. This uh, was Margaret number one. Had, had that car for a long time. And he stole it. And uh, about that point, I just wanted to figure out who the hell stole my car. Right. So I started uh, digging in, getting a, you know, a pretty good news report out of it. But uh, the further I went, the further down that rabbit hole I went, the more insane and crazy it became. Oh boy. Yeah, I found out that it was Chuck Livingston. I found out uh, because some. Uh, crooked, you know, con-type biker ran his mouth. They knew who Chuck Livingston was. And uh, I, I fell in deep. I, I fell in real deep while I was trying to uh, investigate this report. Yeah, the, he seems like a, a very weird guy. I've just been seeing him around all night, all in different vehicles every time. Like, yeah. And each time I see him, you know, he, I talk to him and, and he's a uh, He's mentioned wanting money from, from CNT. Well, the way the story went down is, is the more and more, you know, I got down in that rabbit hole. Eventually, I got my story out, but um, let's see. He's blown up my vehicle. I got arrested for being on his property, trying to get evidence. Oh, my gosh. Uh, we've gotten in a couple of fights, and uh, it all culminated uh, after I finally got all my information together, put out that report on TV. And... Uh, so CNT was going to give me a reward because, uh, you know, that was high rating stuff. Right, right, yeah. So uh, they gave me a, uh, they gave me a reward and everything, and um, ended up giving me uh, my Ferrari and and everything else. And it just, I guess, it pissed him off because the night I got my reward, he uh, he and his, uh, I guess, fiance at the time. A woman named Rosemary Johnson. Right. They kidnapped me. They took me out to the bridge on Great Ocean Highway, and Chuck threw me off the bridge. Oh my gosh. Yep. I fell 400 feet. I luckily landed in the water, but I was in the hospital for a good month, month and a half. So when I, I spoke to Gary earlier, uh, your son, and he told me about that. Yeah. And then I saw Chuck again, and you know I was doing a little digging, and so I wanted to know, you know, why he felt he was owed money if. If you pushed him, you know, if, if he pushed you off a bridge, well, he said that it was a, you know, he agreed with a guy that said it was a very traumatic experience for him, and you know, he had to watch you slip off of that bridge. It was really tough, tough for him. Uh, so, so he's saying, you know, that's what happened. Yeah, that's the problem there, though. I didn't slip off of any bridge. I was kidnapped. I was handcuffed. I was put on top of that bridge, and I was pushed. Holy moly. That guy, he, he seems so mysterious. I mean, you'd never really know he's capable of such things. He's capable of a lot. He is capable of so much. And he's very dangerous. Wow, I can't believe this. This is, this is pretty crazy stuff. 
this is just the tip of the iceberg there, Clay. I, you have to understand that as an intern for CNT News, especially with Chuck Livingston's involved, you know, it can get dangerous. It can get uh, weird. It can go south real quick. I just need you to understand that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I, I didn't realize this is what I was getting into, Larry, but I, uh, I, I'm, I'm here through it all. I'm, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have your back as well, and, and, you know, and, and, and do my best. You know, I, I just don't wanna. Like earlier, I saw you talking to him. I was really worried about leaving because I just, I didn't know what could happen. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I don't, didn't want to turn you away so much as uh, I just didn't want to put you in harm's way. You understand? I understand, Larry. Because, uh, you know, Chuck and I made our peace after that bridge thing, but, you know, we never really made peace. You understand how that goes? Yeah. I'm always going to look over my shoulder when it comes to Chuck Livingston because, uh, I mean, the man threw me off a bridge, for God's sakes. You know, you never get over something like that. When it's, it just seems like this is kind of resurfacing. Is this the first he's talking about wanting compensation? This is resurfacing because he's broke. And that's all it is. What's broke? I mean, what got him broke? Is it is it the campaign? I, God, I don't know. I don't know what got him broke. But uh, the man has no money. And when you're broke and you got nowhere else to go, you get desperate, you know? Yeah. It just seems like he's untouchable. That's what I thought, too, when I was initially reporting him. I thought Grape Seed was the crookedest police department. They were covering for him. And that wasn't true. It wasn't true at all. But uh, I don't know. I don't know how the man gets away with so much. Hmm. Really interesting stuff. But, uh, you know, Larry, I, I'm, I'm here with you through it all, okay? I, I'm in it for the long run. This is what I want to do in my life. I understand, man. I understand. And you're doing a good job. You really are. I just want you to understand how, uh, how dangerous this is. It's time for me to grow up, Larry. All right, Clay. All right. Remind me to talk to, uh, Jim Simpson Monday up in the office. You're no longer an intern. You're just a new reporter. I want to take you under my wings. At least we need to pay you. Holy, holy cow, are you serious, Larry? Yeah, do you know who Jim Simpson is? No, I'm not aware. Jim Simpson is the CEO of CNT. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, holy moly. I you love... keep those, you keep that name to yourself because uh, Chuck Livingston wants to know who the hell the CEO is. I won't tell us all. You protect Jim Simpson's name. All right. I think it's best we probably split ways out of here because yeah. I wouldn't put it past the fact that Chuck Livingston is probably watching right now. Yeah, yeah. You uh, you just be careful, Larry. Let me know if you if you need me, okay? All right. Will do. I'm going to leave like five minutes after you, okay, bud? Be All careful. Righty. Yeah, take care. All right. I will contact you in the future. That conversation was crazy. Wait, is Larry's car gone? I bet I know who took it. I better go look. Hey, officer. Yeah. Do you know what the, you know, did this the person that stole this vehicle did he like bail? Yeah, he did. What did he look like? Do you know? Yeah, he's a very heavy set guy wearing a cowboy hat, no shirt, blue jean shorts. Was he firing at officers? Nah, that I don't know. I think these are two separate things. Okay, I appreciate it. Are they, is someone pursuing him now, or, or is he unknown no. right now? I'm pretty sure I know who it is, so I'm just going to put a warrant out for him. So. Gotcha. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yep. Yeah, this is my boss's car. 
Yeah, hey, are just you able to get in touch with, with him? Can you just come pick it up? Oh, yeah, yeah, let me give him a call. Okay, cool. Larry Berry. Hey, hey, Larry, this is Clay. Hey, Clay, how's it going? Uh, well, I'm here with your car. Where's my car at? They've got it down here at not at five nine. Uh, yeah, five nine four in the city. Five nine four in the Just city. That's uh, kind of close easier. over there by CNT. Yeah, yeah, they have it over here, and uh, and the cop confirmed to me that correct, correct. there was a shirtless man with a cowboy hat driving. But they they've lost eyes. Jeez, uh, it's I know Larry stole my car. He was thinking it was so. Yep, he's he says he's ninety five percent sure that it's Chuck. But uh, I think I think we know I think we know here. But yeah, nine five four. It's down here, Larry. Are you, you gonna come get it? Transport. Well, I mean, I don't have uh, transportation right now. I, start, I walked over to Flywheels, but he's not there. I can't rent a vehicle. So I just kind of rented a hotel room here off of uh, Panorama here in uh, Sandy Shores. Yeah. I'm just kind of hanging out here because I don't have uh, wheels to get back into the city. Do you, want them, do you want them to just impound it, or you want me to come, like, pick you up, bring you down here? I mean, you're more than welcome to come uh, pick me up. You know, that's a hell of a drive, though. A yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know, I don't, I don't want your car to be impounded. Did they, uh, did they call a tow? Hey, officer, did you call a tow? Not yet. Roger. No, they haven't called tow yet. All units below for a city bus. I mean, yeah, yeah. If you want to come pick me up. Northbound Route 13. All right, are you at you at the uh, at the motel there on on 68? Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Uh, no, no, no. It's uh, the one on Panorama and Sandy Shores. Oh, on Panorama. Okay, yeah. They, I heard they updated that place. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's still a uh, crap hole, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. All right, Larry. I'll, I'll be on my way. All righty. All right. See you in a sec. Bye. Got Bye. better one in route to pillbox. So I'm going to go pick Larry up and bring him down here to his car. It's going to take me a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and get in and lock the door. She's got an extra set of keys. Okay, sick. All right, yeah. I mean, I don't. It, no one's gonna take it from sitting right here, so I'll head back up to the county then. And if you guys need anything, just call. Okay, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. And for any available to assist the zero eight zero with red. Bravo one. What's his location? Seven two seven is our freeway. And four, show us in route. Copy. At 127. How's it going, Clay? Hey there. Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. So how bad's my car? You know, actually it didn't look too awful from my first impression, but we'll uh we'll have to you'll have to assess it yourself, you know, you know what you know it better than I do. Alrighty. Alright. So some, where was uh, it? Some lunatic stole a, a city bus and it stopped over there by the U-Tool. I could have sworn it looked like like Chuck, but I, you know, I'm not sure. No, I'm on... Wouldn't surprise me one little bit. Okay. Could have dumped your car and stole a city bus. He didn't want my car. He could have taken that car, sold it, right by the made a lot of money. He's uh, he's giving me a message. Why is all of this resurfacing now? Because he's broke. He's desperate. And he's not going to stop. He's not going to stop at all. He's going to try to figure out who the CEO of uh, CNT News is. He's going to try to shake me down, shake you uh, down. That's Chuck Livingston. He lives by his own code. And he doesn't stop yeah. until he gets what he wants. What a guy. What a guy. Everybody loves him, though. But nobody seems to want to recognize the truth behind him. 
Uh, no, heading south on Torch City. I think they're, some of them are just afraid of them, Larry. And they ought to be. They ought to be. Oh, my God. He's a maniac. Uh, yeah, uh. And there's my Larry Ari. So this was obviously a ploy to, to get back at you. Yeah, this is a message. Like I said, he could have stolen this, sold it, got himself a nice chunk of change. But this is a message. This is what that is. 428 code for on your call. 10 4, tow just arrived in. All right. I guess I'm going to try to limp it back to. Uh, and we'll be back 10 8. Like fly flywheels or something. All righty, Larry. Till next time. You keep yourself safe, Clay, and be very careful around Chuck Livingston. You understand? I hear you, Larry. All right. All right. You have a good one, Clay. I'm going to call you uh, when I need you, okay? Sounds good. Yeah, I'll see you for that meeting tomorrow. All right. See you up there for the meeting.